president believes and, and we believe that there are legitimate concerns out there, and that's why the policy was written the way it was. You haven't reached out to the Catholic bishops. They called them just yesterday. They say they haven't gotten a call. They're the most outspoken on this topic. If you're starting a conversation, who are you, who are you conversing with? Uh, well, again, the policy was announced. First of all, I think I, I'm not going to dispute your reporting, uh, but I think that there have been a lot of conversations in the uh, process that led up to the announcements of this, uh, and there were, uh, there are and will be conversations going forward. I mean, you, certain individuals may say they haven't had a call, but others uh, have uh, been engaged in this conversation and will be engaged. Uh, so I don't, you know, I, I think that's been amply reported uh, in some cases, unfortunately. Okay, the president about to leave for uh, the um, Nats Harbor has already left. Could you tell us what his um, agenda is? What what he? Well, I look say? forward to meeting with Senate Democrats to, to talk about the agenda going forward, to talk about the budget that he'll put forward uh, soon, to talk about the uh, absolute um, need to ensure that the payroll tax cut is extended for the calendar year to make sure 160 million Americans don't have their taxes go up. He'll talk about the other actions that. Uh, he hopes to work with them on uh, that will continue to move this uh, economy forward, uh, promote growth and job creation. The usual topics. Why is, <laughs> why is Jim Messina along with him? Uh, I, I, I assume to, to uh, engage in that conversation as well, but I'll, I'll have to take the question, or maybe you can ask the campaign. Chris? Uh, that's it. Uh, is that Who's louder? <laughs> okay, let me go. I have Guy Yesterday, regarding the president's position on the right of same sex couples to marry, you said that this is a process that involves his faith. What other decisions about providing protections and civil responsibilities has the president based upon a decision on his faith? Uh, Chris, I, I, I want to be clear, and I appreciate the question, that I was simply referring to statements the President had made in the past about, uh, about this issue, and it's not about, uh, I, I don't want to, I'm not, I am in no way going further than anything the President himself has said about his views on this issue, and I want to be clear, and thank you for the opportunity to be clear on this. Um, you know, what I want to add about uh, yesterday is that uh, as you know, the President has long opposed divisive and discriminatory efforts to deny rights and benefits to same-sex couples. He believes strongly that protections should not be taken away from committed gay and lesbian couples who want to take care of their families. Uh, and that's, uh, while we don't uh, comment on specific litigation, uh, that is the, his general position on this, as I think you know and have reported on. Uh, you mentioned conversations, conversations that are underway on this contraceptive uh, policy, conversations that are underway, allaying concerns, a period of transition. Do you think that Boehner's jumping the gun when he talks about repealing this, uh, since you believe that this is all still uh, in progress? Uh, yeah, we're just going to focus on uh, the effort we have underway. Uh, the President is committed, as I've tried to make clear, to ensuring that this policy is implemented so that all American, have, all American women have access to the same level of health care coverage, uh, and, and, and doing that in a way that uh, hopefully allays some of the concerns that have been expressed. You know, we'll leave uh, uh, comments of, uh, that you mentioned and others, uh, you know, we're, we note them, but we're focused on trying to get this, uh, the policy implementation uh, done in the right way. Thanks very much. Are you saying that you favor, oppose, or you don't care about whether or not the executive branch is covered? I, I'm saying uh, I don't. It, redundancies are fine uh, in the effort. Okay with you. It's just, it's it, just not it, necessary. <laughs> right. As everyone who knows policies can and, and that are in place and that apply to exec, executive branch knows, this is um, complete. Uh, yes, a, a, a barrel full of gorilla dust. Okay. But you don't oppose it. It's in the bill. Uh, I do not. No. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I checked that, you know, there's nothing scheduled, but I think it's a... Yeah, we're just...